Is this a trap? Because Valladolid are plus 257, hosting Villarreal at minus 101. Villarreal are actually uh, starting to, to improve on their improvements, which is ab absolutely what everyone wants to see because they will be a factor in that top four, top five finish coming into the season. The draw is at plus 267. The under over is at two and a half, but it's massively juiced to minus 145. The numbers are same. Villarreal win and both teams to score, which would probably be around plus 175, Pablos. I was going to say that, that uh, if Villarreal are to win this match, they're probably going to need to score twice. Uh, so maybe take a look at Villarreal team total over one and a half or Villarreal money line with a, just a small degree of danger. Although Valladolid, yeah, they're starting to score, but they score against uh, Sevilla. They scored against Mallorca, against Rayo, against Alaves. They, they didn't score against any, against Celta. Um, against the big ones, they struggle. And uh, Villarreal, they're not, you know, they're your traditional big team in the La Liga, but they're right, right behind the big teams. So, um, if this was at minus 130, I'd say it's a trap. At uh, even money, if you take Villarreal money line, I have no objection. It's a very good price. Um, you know, for for a Villarreal uh, team that's, you know, they don't have European competitions to distract them this season. So uh, all their focus is uh, in finishing inside the top four, top five, maybe even top six is not a good and it's not a bad, um, you know, um, a bad result to finish in the top six. Although uh, you'll play in the in the small, you know, in the Conference League next season. But um, yeah, Villarreal with no distractions, just uh, this is a very very good price. Paco, you've been really impressed with the way that Villarreal started the season uh, and now they go to Valladolid. Is, it, is this a case of just don't complicate it? Yeah, mainly because I was just trying to squeeze a bit more value out of this game, uh, trying to look uh, maybe the under 3.5 or so on, because uh, as, as Pablo said, they find it extremely easy to score regardless of the game, and especially when they go on the road. You know, we're actually talking about a team, Villarreal, who are much better on the road than at home. When, uh, you know, El Estado de la Ceramica has been traditionally one of their biggest strongholds in, in La Liga, especially with such a, a manager as, as Marcelino. But for example, I got burned last week with that Villarreal Moneyland, which was massive value, and they got level with a, an 88-minute VAR penalty by Raul Albiol, uh, Absolutely uh, not on purpose, but regardless, it allowed Getafe to, to, you know, pick up a point, a late point over there, and that ruined my bet. But I think that trusting Villarreal so far has worked. Uh, they're sitting fourth. They have always proven them their might whenever they go on the road, except, you know, playing against uh, big sides and so on. So, you know, Valladolid, one of the bottom teams, and actually playing better than they should uh, because they are sitting slightly below relegation but with eight points the same as Leganés uh, only two away from Las Palmas and Valencia who are bottom of the league so uh, they really need to win and they actually won last week but their run before that was awful so I think that they will go back to their former selves they will once again lose the game and I think that Villarreal even though the value I, I would like a bit more. I, I was, you know, trying to check out. I couldn't see the odds yesterday if uh, they, they had a bit more value with the under 3.5 and so on because I think they might keep a clean sheet by a little finding it tough to score even at home. 2-0, so 2-1, but I think that Villarreal can pull it off. So maybe just go for the money line or uh, under 3.5 in this case. Yeah, if Villarreal get beat here, we're looking at Valladolid going back-to-back -back wins, which is obviously not something that you can actually uh, put into your Very calculations. Weird. Yeah, you can't put it in yes. your calculations. I mean, the, the men in white coats, they'll come and pick you up and, and take you away if you start thinking Valladolid <laughs> are going to string wins together. Um, but the number at minus 101, even, and that's not a glitch, by the way. That's just the algorithm. So if you want to go with... Uh, Villarreal minus half at plus 100, then uh, you're going to get that like 0.1% um, extra uh, every little counts, I suppose. Let's have a little look at the official pits because myself and uh, Pavlos both left it alone, but I think we're both in agreement that Villarreal money line minus 101 is the way to go. Yeah.